Hey everybody, it's Chuck. Here we are, full self-driving supervised version 12.3.6. Did my first impressions drive yesterday. Check that out if you hadn't seen it. It was a nice drive. Lots of new uh, things kind of seen in there with the auto park feature. Uh, towards the middle of the video, I had some demonstrations of that. Check that out. This is dedicated unprotected left-hand turns. 8 o'clock in the morning. Should have a little bit of a rush hour. Hopefully we get some good use cases here. Um, and just for grins today, I'm going to leave this camera up as much as I possibly can so you can see every perspective. I had some user feedback that that would help um, when necessary. So I'm going to swipe from the full screen view to the side view and bring the camera up occasionally. Um, I'm going to engage right after this car comes uh, from the left and we will uh, see how it goes. All right, here we go. Full self-driving. All right, lead car, and looks like the lead car is turning to the right, so we're going to the left. And here we go. There's our NHTSA stop, and let's see what our traffic looks like. All right, nice aggressive creep. We do have some traffic coming. It needs to wait. Oh, gosh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Ouch. Okay. Um, I'm okay. And it did it made the right decision. These cars are kind of going away from me. There's our gap there. It needs to go to the median. It needs to wait. Is it gonna wait? Okay, my rear end is sticking out a little bit. I need to wait. Okay, these cars are going around me quite a bit. Oh, don't roll. Okay. It pre-rolled that and it was gonna it felt like it was gonna hit that car. Um I disengaged at the very last second. It, it, it was pre-rolling the right decision, but it was it was already rolling as before the car had come by me, and that did not feel comfortable. I don't know what that looked like from above, but that was about two seconds too early on the pre-roll right into the side of the car. Maybe it has a tolerance, but this version doesn't have my trust on that yet. Okay, um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna hold judgment off here. Let's let's uh, get a couple more in. All right, here we go. Hop it out, we got some cars across the way in the medium. we got to give uh, right away to. Looks like they found a gap and just rolled that straight in. You can kind of see them identified blue. The median is definitely uh, being marked blue. Creep limit's the same. A much more aggressive creep. Okay, we have a good gap to the left, but we're closed from the right, so it's probably gonna wait. And you can see this big truck and trailer and another car here. So now our gap has closed to the left. And we're going to just have to wait here for a little bit because that car has the right of way. Okay, he took that small gap. And now it should just sit here for a little bit. There's kind of a, a side view. Okay, so now we have a good gap from the left. And it should just go for it. But it's going to have to wait on the right. Okay, so it's definitely waiting on traffic on the right there. And now the gap is closed to the left. We have a tiny one for an aggressive punch here. If it goes for it, you got to go. You got to go. Okay, I disengaged in the lane of traffic because of its hesitancy. Now I got to commit on my own there um, and jump it out into the media, and I'm just proceeding there. Okay, so it had it committed, there was a good gap there, but it just was not committing right, and ultimately it left me in a dangerous spot in this oncoming traffic here. Um, I, so I don't know what to say. I, it, it, don't go into the lane of traffic unless you're ready to go all the way across, I guess is all I'd say. Um, it's unfortunate that you're now waiting on traffic from the right instead of jumping to the median, but that, that's a design decision. All right, let's try some more. Okay, here we go again. Round three, sounding a little bit defeated. I'm looking for a good one here. Um, there's our stop and our creep. We got a small gap here. If it goes for it, it needs to go. It needs to go. All right, Un insufficient commit there um, for the speed of traffic. I don't know if you can detect that on the camera, um, but it was slow rolling it, and I just didn't have that much time. So that was an accelerator in intervention to get into the median like Frogger, um, <laughs> just to yeah. I can't. I can't let the car get that close to oncoming traffic at 90 degrees of closure. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. Okay, that's three down. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. 
There's our NHTSA stop. And let's see what our creep shows us this time. Alright, needs to go a little... Okay, we got a small gap here, but it needs to wait now. It lost it. Don't go any further. Stop. Oh, wow. Okay. We have a lot of traffic coming. I am... I'm not in the road, but I'm beyond my comfort zone. But it's got a perfect view now. It can, it can definitely see. Um, lot, I just don't have much reaction time if it starts to go. It shouldn't go with all these cars from the left. Uh, there's zero gaps coming, so I'm not even really looking to the right until I see a hole to the left. I just don't want it to creep at all. Interesting, my creep limit went away while I'm looking left here. Um, not sure why that happened. Hopefully it's still going to honor it. And, okay, here comes our gaps from the left. Okay, so we have three more cars. There's one, there's the Model S, and then we have a <coughs> small little white car. And now we're clear to the right, but we have to go to the median. We can't jump. It's got to wait in the median. Okay, so that time it did it. And two more cars. Don't pre-roll this one. Oh, it started pre-rolling again. Uh, don't go towards cars before they've passed you. So that is a repeatable issue. It went to the median, but it was pre-rolling into an oncoming car rather than just waiting it. Now, there's probably going to be some of you that say it would have been fine I, based on the trajectory and the speed of the roll. I'm just telling you, when I'm in the car and I'm looking at cars coming and I've got my head over my shoulder and I'm just trying to time it, it's going too early and it feels like it's going to hit that car. Um, it, it's a new behavior too. So I'll just it, it, leave it at that. Let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Pay attention to the road, Chuck. All right, there's our NHTSA stop. Creeping, creeping, okay. Wide open to the left if it goes. It should go right now. Come on, go. Okay, the left lane is open, but I got one car waiting. My rear end sticking out, my rear end sticking out, but it rolled that one just fine. Okay, we got one, yay. Okay, <laughs> that was good. It, it was comfortable dragging its uh, rear end there a little bit while it waited on this one last car that was in the far right lane. The two left lanes were open. It could have very easily continued to roll and go in the left lane. So it's still honoring all three lanes of traffic, it feels like, even at the expense of leaving the car into the oncoming traffic as they're coming at me uh, very fast. So while it did complete it, I, I feel it got a little lucky um, on the timing of this car uh, because if there had been more cars in this right lane, it was not in a good position to get into a safe spot in the median. Here we go again. Okay, let's try another one. Every single scenario is different. There's our creep limit. Crawling out here. Okay, there's a good gap here, but none from the right. Don't go out there if you can't go all the way. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm in a very uncomfortable spot. I'm way out here. And now I have a car in front of me. Yikes. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go, but you're gonna have to go to the median. Okay, it's going to the median. It's not in the median. It's not in the median. Okay, the left lane is open after this next car. Now it's open, but it's not going because of the other cars in the middle lanes. I'm able to stay where I am. Okay, now it's going in the left lane. Interesting. Okay, it worked its way through that one, but it was able to do it because there was no traffic coming here with where it had parked itself. Very, very uncomfortable creep at the beginning of that one. Um, I, I probably, in, in hindsight, should have backed up a little bit. It, it, was, it was out there so far. I, so this this version's unprotected left-hand turns are absolutely horrible. Um, uncomfortable for me as a driver, supervisor, whatever you want to call me. But um, this, this is not the way to do unprotected left-hand turns. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get another one in. Car up in front of me is turning to the right. Waiting for his spot. There he goes. All right, there's my stop. Need a creep line. There's my creep line. 
Now, let's ease it out. Okay, wide open to the left and wide open to the right. And very hesitant to go, but it rolled it. Okay, well, the traffic died down, obviously just in time for that one. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it today. On a good note, it had a roller with no traffic to deal with and it did it just fine. Um, the traffic decisions on this one, it's still very hesitant from the right. It's not getting in the median at the right geometry to wait. It's leaving its rear end in the oncoming traffic. If the right hand scenario changes, it's allowing itself to wait in the oncoming traffic um, on the left. So that those are not the safe spots to wait. I think that, uh, you know, I don't wanna say this is different from 12.3.4 that I tested before because that wasn't great either and we're on the same branch basically so maybe uh this is it is what it is for this version um if i were to fix something i would really figure out how to get it back into the median with the right geometry because it just gives you more options uh unless we're just gonna completely ignore turns like this and say we can't do it i, I don't think that's what the team wants to do um because I, in my mind we were on a good path with 10.69 uh, up through version 11. It had some good logic, albeit heuristic. So in any case, that's unprotected left-hand turns um, on FSD supervised, supervised FSD, however you want to call it, 12.3.6. Quite a bit of a regression or at least unsuccessful performance in uh, medium to heavy traffic. Thanks, everybody. Leave your comments below. Hope you have a great day.